Okay, so you got your grandfather clock swinging. It, it loses 10% each each time. Um, so that would be 81 over 2. 729 over 20. 6561 over 200. And then that would be over 2000. Five nine oh four nine and um, find the length of the twenty fifth swing. To one decimal place. Forty five times zero point nine to power twenty four. 3.6, okay. Find the total distance traveled by the tip of the pendulum when it's completed swing 40. So that's S40, which is A times 1 minus R power N over 1 minus R. Uh, 45 centimeters, 1 minus 0 0.9 power 40 over 1 minus 0 0.9. And that's four, four, three centimeters. P is the first swing in which the arc length is less than two centimeters. Yeah. So TN, which is your 45, 0 0.9, yeah, 45, 0 0.9 power n minus 1, that's equal to 2, 2 divided by 45, so you have 0 0.9 power n minus 1 equals 0 0.04 recurring, you could log base 9 both sides, Cancel uh, log base point nine. I mean to say, canceling the point nine there, so the n would just be one plus log zero point nine zero point zero four like that. Okay. So it's the thirty first swing. Um. Pendulum is 100 centimeters. Show the angle theta of swing one of the pendulum is 26. So um, L equals or theta. So theta is L over or, which would be 45 over 100. Um, but we want that in degrees. So to convert into degrees, we multiply by 180 over pi. And that is 26 degrees. Find the total accumulated angle dependent swing is true until it stops swinging. So the infinite. So S infinity is A over 1 minus R, which will be 26 degrees over 1 minus 0 0.9, which is 260 degrees. Hence, or otherwise, find the total distance traveled by the tip of the pendulum when it has moved to half of the total accumulated angle so if theta is 130 degrees then that means the arc length would be 
Ortita, which should be 100, uh, but the angle needs to be in radians, so it's 130 over 180 times pi. So that would be 227 centimeters. Okay. Oh, that's it.